Hello uh, and welcome to a grumpy businessman video. Um, I'm doing this off the back of another video because I realised I stayed at a Ibis um, the day before yesterday and didn't do a review on it um, because I never had the time. I was rushing around, blah, blah, blah. Life got in the way. Um, but I thought it was important to do. So um, as a quick sort of heads up, if you haven't seen my channel before, I do product reviews, which seems to be quite popular or getting popular. And I also do reviews on hotels that I sort of travel to with work. Um, you know, just to benefit other people if they see a hotel that I stay in and they're going to be going to the area. Um, and it's a good review why not stay in it. And if it's terrible, bloody avoid it. So um, it's just a bit of helpful advice, really. Um, I wanted to do a quick review on the Ibis. So I stayed at the Ibis Hotel in Leicester. Um, it's really close to the city centre and train station. No problems with the... Uh, location a lot of people moaned about parking okay and this is why I wanted to make this video um, so people are saying you can't park the park spaces are tiny people park dangerously nah, 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 nah. anyway so I went I got there for about four half three four and there were three or four spaces it wasn't that difficult to to get parked up I got a space um, quite easily actually when I drove in so I don't think the some of the comments are, are justified as as much as they're probably leading it on to be. Um, I would imagine if you probably got there after half five, six, seven o'clock, you know what, yeah, maybe it'd be a bit busier. But if you're travelling, you know, leisurely or with work and you can get in there before, um, you I don't think you'll have a problem parking. Uh, the hotel room was fairly basic. It's really, it's, you know, quite small, but it's, it's what you needed. It was had a, had a bed, TV. Um, the bathroom was like a little hub thing. It looked like it had just been sort of installed in a corner. It was almost like a separate sort of unit. It's really different. It looked like actually, I'll tell you what it looked like. It looked like those um, toilets on trains where it has the electric door and you press it and it sort of opens, and then you press it again. It just looked like that sort of hub shape. And inside of that was a walk-in shower, toilet, just the basics. And they don't give you any um, freebies or anything. It was a squeezy down soap that they'd chain to a wall to stop you from taking it. However, the pillows um, were super nice. Really, really comfortable pillows. Um, really hard. Come, you know, you could sort of stack a couple up and get a good night's sleep. Um, and I did sleep really, really well. So it just goes to show that uh, luxury and prices and everything when it comes to a good night's sleep, as long as you've got the basics. So that was the video really. I'm uh, currently at another hotel, um, so I've been traveling all week, um, but I just didn't want to not do a video on the Ibis, um, purely for the fact that I think it was worth doing one just for the parking alone, because it just gets a lot of stick for it. And actually it was fine. The staff were really friendly. It was, yeah, it was a great hotel, uh, nice bar area and food. So there you go, thumbs up. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope it was good. Please do um, subscribe to my channel if you like my videos uh, and like my videos if you like my videos as well uh, and feel free to share them around. All right. Thank you very much for watching. Have a lovely day, evening, morning, whatever. Take care. Cheers. Bye-bye now.